If I could only describe it in a couple words, it would be roller coaster. 20 some odd miles of physical and mental roller coaster. Every high seemed to be followed by a low, some of which were pretty soul crushing lows. While Jordan's opinion may be a little different, I can honestly say I don't regret the ride. Okay, enough hyping this trip up. Let's take this from the beginning. While Jordan set up camp, I went on a little side mission. This overgrown, unmarked path eventually led me here. A scummy puddle. 
The ladle was a nice touch though. But with a little patience and ingenuity, I was able to bring back more than enough water. There are few places to find total darkness, but just a stone's throw from the gorge is one of those places, Linville Caverns. In 1915, a couple daring explorers got more than they bargained for. One of the men slipped and out went their lantern, their only source of light. They say after a couple weeks in that much darkness, you'd end up with a few more friends than you entered with. And after a couple months, you'd completely lose your mind. But just when all hope seemed lost, they heard a sound. For two days, they blindly crawled against the inflowing stream. Finally reaching the mouth of the caverns and the light of day. Call it a cautionary tale against crawling around in caves or an example of overcoming the worst of circumstances. Either way, it's a pretty interesting bit of history. GoPro took a dive. It just kind of leapt right out of my hand. I don't. Um, it went off further, further this way though. Oh, that's it down there. I can see it. 
sure, I got it back, but it wasn't quite the same after. A lot of water bottles down here. Yeah, people, yeah. people lost all kinds of things down this thing. Just take your time and please take mine. While nothing compared to the crossing up at Spence Bridge, this was a bit of a tricky one. Not deep or swift by any means, but you could easily twist an ankle or bust your butt if not careful. I'm sure I made it across with about as much grace as a badly crippled goat, but I didn't slip. And I think that counts as a win. I guess we stumbled on a false trail or missed where it got rerouted. But with only so much energy left to spare, we had to pick. Maneuver back through blowdowns and mud, or pick a spot and start clawing up to where we should be. Not the trail. Thank you. 
only three and a half miles left to go. Definitely past the point of turning around. This had been a tough one. But God willing and the river don't rise, we were gonna make it out alive the next day. It's pretty well known the bridge at Spence Ridge got washed out a couple of years ago. Talk about a leap of faith. Yeah, right. We were gonna have to swim. Not to worry though, I had a plan. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm kind of a genius. Completely dry, except for all of the sweat. But other than that, completely dry. You're my little trail trooper. Oh. <laughs> If you find yourself in Linville for hiking or just passing through, you've got to stop at Louise's. After dragging ourselves up brutal inclines, scrambling over rocky cliffs, saving the camera from certain doom, fighting our way through thorns and spider webs, taking a wrong turn and having to claw back up the ravine, and crossing the river not once, but twice. I have to ask, 